For this activity, we're going to discuss HyperDocs and how to add links to your HyperDoc. So one of the great resources available is to go to the hyperdocs.co website, which you see up across the top here, backslash template. So right here, you can see, go ahead and enter it again. And on this page, we have multiple templates that can be opened and then make a copy to your Google Drive that you can then use for your lesson design. So these are just some of the basic designs um, available. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just choose one of them here. And I'm going to go to this basic one, Explore, Explain, Apply, one of the easiest ones to start off with. I'd recommend definitely starting with maybe an easier template and then working your way to some of the longer templates, like you see over here where you go Engage, Explore, Explain, Apply, Share, Reflect, and Extend. That is probably my favorite uh, once you really start getting into HyperDocs. It allows for the four Cs to really stand out. So once I go to this template, I'm going to go ahead and select it. And what it allows me to do is goes into this, this goes into the HyperDoc, and what I can do is just make a copy of this into my own Google Drive. So I'm going to go to File, make a copy, and when I do that, though, I need to go over here to the folder and change it to your drive. So again, right here, I'm going to go ahead and select this, and I'm going to go to use this back arrow on the top here. And then it goes back to my main section. I'm going to go ahead and choose my drive and then hit select. And it'll go ahead and if I hit OK, it'll put a copy of that into your Google Drive. So now you own this template. All sharing options have then disappeared. Um, it is now your document to edit, format, uh, share, do whatever you like with. So once we do this then, this is our template that we can kind of use. So I'm, I have one that I used recently that I'm going to share with you. It's the same format using the explore, explain, apply technique. And I'm going to select it right here. So this was a hyperdoc I created on blended learning using just the three basics. Again, um, engage, explore, explain. So in the engage section here, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. So engage, watch a short introduction video on the power of blended learning. So this is where you want to try to hook your students. This is kind of just an engagement tool. It could be a video. It could be uh, something for them to read, uh, whatever your task may be. So I already have a video that I have set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. So I'm in YouTube. And in YouTube here, you have the share option. So I'm going to hit share. And when I do share, there is the link. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I'm going to do a control C. You can also right click. And then I'm going to go back to my HyperDoc and I'm going to highlight the area that I want to add the link to. So I'm going to just put it right there. And then up above here, I'm going to hit the insert link icon. And then in the link section, I'm going to paste it, which is control V. So control V, or you can right click and hit paste. Once the link is in there, I hit apply. And now that just made the power of blended learning, it turned into a live link that can be used. So the students would go in there, I'd select it, and it would bring me right to that video for them to watch. So that is how you do an active link. And then here's a task. Uh, use the link to answer the questions and provide a comment. So this was a place now after they watched the video, they go here and they actually put the response that they, that they want to put on the link here. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. This is just a place where you can add um, a collaborative board. It's a whiteboard where you can add collaboration to it. You can also use a Padlet here or other types of collaboration tools that are out there. And then if I go down to my explore, here's all these different links where students can go explore different areas related to blended learning. Now, this is a lot of links. I use this for a, an adult PD for uh, teachers, but not every link is probably need to be used. There's quite a bit here. And then it says here for my task, create an infographic, a web story or video animation. So each one of these takes me to a different area. So if I'm going to do this is where you have the personalization where you're giving your students a choice. So if I'm going to do an infographic, I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to take me to Canva, which is a great place to make a different types of infographics um, there. Or if I wanted to have them do a web story, 
it takes me to Adobe Spark, another great tool to uh, use with students where they can go ahead and create a Spark. A Spark allows you to create a web page, um, a video, or also a um, basically a resource page. So I don't need to show you that right now. But the last thing then is then apply. So once they do the explore, the last step is to apply, create an example, blend and station rotation. Again, here are the steps, and they can choose where they do the task at. So you're giving your, cho your students a choice. Um, that is how you would start with the basics of a HyperDoc, uh, creating an interactive lesson with your students for them to be self-paced, uh, have choice, and be able to personalize uh, the different assignments they'd like to do. So when the students turn this in, you might have three different types of assignments that they choose from. Um, again, giving them that, uh, that, that student choice that a lot of students like to have. And that is how you create a link and a basic hyperdoc. Thank you.